Hoy es 7 de febrero 2016. Actually, I wanted to go to the beach, but it's very windy today. En realidad quería ir a la playa, pero hay mucho viento hoy. But anyway, I went outside now and um, went to my one of my favorite places uh, protected from the wind to take a little sun. Pero igualmente salido, um, fui a una de mis sitios favoritos protegido del viento a tomar un poco de sol. I had a look at my Facebook this morning and one uh, old picture from two years ago popped up. Eché un vistazo a mi Facebook esta mañana y una imagen muy antigua hace dos años. Uh, lo han enseñado ahí. It's that cat, uh, that picture of that cat, um, looking some kind of sad and written comment. I still haven't figured out why I got up uh, this morning. Es la imagen de ese gato que con el comentario todavía no he descubierto por qué me he levantado esta mañana. I must say I have many emotions tied to this image. I wrote some comments and I had some conversation with somebody. Tengo que decir que tengo muchas emociones relacionados con esa imagen hace un tiempo tuve una conversación con alguien it seems I still haven't digested this conversation si sí, parece que todavía no he digerido esta conversación But the main reason for this the discussion um, is because of atheism and belief system. En realidad, la razón principal por toda esa ese problema, discusión y tal es por el tema de ateísmo y sistema de de fe but I must say now after this hashtag let's talk fe flat earth I see everything every the picture every sometimes I watch some videos again I see everything with different eyes pero tengo que decir que ahora después de hashtag let's talk FI tierra plana um, veo todas todas las imágenes o a veces vuelvo a ver algunos vídeos todo lo veo con ojos diferentes especially um, that mystery Babylon Especialmente este misterio Babylon. Uh, before I got to know Flat Earth, I had always, I never understood that um, mystery why God destroyed the Tower of Babel and confused the languages. Antes de conocer a Tierra Plana, uh, siempre nunca entendía ese misterio porque Dios destruyó la Torre de Babel y confundió los idiomas. And remember that another hashtag written together under the dome. Recuerda ese otro hashtag. 
escrito juntos debajo de eh, no sé exactamente en español pero under the dome and I watched again a video of that channel called Armageddon News a video on Mystery Babylon and then he went to see the video Mysterio de Babylon del canal de YouTube Armageddon News I checked their last videos but um, I still haven't done any video about a flat earth He mirado pero todavía no han hecho un video sobre tierra plana and in their cover design picture they show very often the globe earth the ball earth model and so uh, imagen de fondo a menudo enseñan el modelo de la tierra pelota a picture says thousand words una imagen dice mil palabras actually one I want to talk a little more about um, this picture I found uh, this old picture I found on my Facebook en realidad quiero hablar más sobre ese, esa imagen que he encontrado en mi Facebook and I wrote some comments under this picture and even another picture as comment y he escrito algunos comentarios debajo de esa imagen y también otra imagen de comentario This image of a no escape uh, esa imagen de no hay escape this express some kind of this uh, concept of under the dome trapped uh, es parecido de ese concepto de debajo del domo uh, atrapados remember this episode of Simpsons Recuerda ese episodio de Simpsons también debajo del domo. And another funny picture I found some days ago when I made that video about happy birthday to everybody whenever. Um, this uh, another uh, funny or not so funny cat picture. Digo hace unos días hice ese video sobre Feliz cumpleaños para cualquiera, cuando sea eh, una imagen de gato un poco más o menos graciosa, con un ritmo en, en inglés. Why fall in love when you can fall asleep? ¿Por qué enamorarse? si sí, te puedes quedar dormida pero eso eh, se suena claro suena mejor en inglés porque se rima I think almost everybody has uh, many thoughts but uh, sometimes uh, difficult to express what you are really thinking that's one reason why I like to create these videos like some kind of psychotherapy. Creo que casi todo el mundo tiene muchos pensamientos, pero a veces bastante es bastante difícil de expresar esos pensamientos y esa es una razón por la que me gusta producir estos videos. Es un tipo de psicoterapia I think that uh, this picture of that cat with the comment I still haven't figured out why I got out of bed this morning 
Uh, I think this picture is a perfect um, example uh, to express our some sense of humor, the question of what is the sense of life. The way I'm just going for a walk, I think I have reached the end of the world. Primero a traducir. Uh, creo que esa imagen del gato que dice uh, todavía no he descubierto la razón por la que me he levantado esta mañana. Creo que esa imagen expresa perfectamente um, la pregunta uh, ¿Qué es el sentido de la vida? con un sentido de humor. Pero dando un paseo me parece que he descubierto el fin del mundo. Just going for a walk, uh, actually near to my home, to but a place. There are some hotels and it's one, um, one street. I thought they built something, but uh, actually there's <laughs> really, really like the end of the world. <laughs> Como he dicho, que estoy dando un paseo uh, realmente cerca de mi casa, pero es un sitio que casi nunca voy. Hay unos hoteles y... Sí, es como el fin del mundo. <laughs> If you're really looking for the end of the world, you should keep in mind Uh, the map of United United Nations. Si de verdad estás buscando el fin del mundo, deberías mantener en mente la imagen de las Naciones Unidas, Antarctica, the ice wall, Antártida, el Muro de hielo. Okay, let's go back to this question. What's the sense of life? Bueno, vamos a devolver esa esa pregunta. ¿Qué es el sentido de la vida? Maybe for most people on this world who find themselves suddenly having many children and then they are like in a, um, in a vicious circle uh, they want to offer their children a better life than they have and um, all, all the story repeats they almost don't have any time to think Uh, tal vez la mayoría de la gente que de repente se encuentran con muchos hijos y luego están como un círculo vicioso, quieren ofrecer a, a sus hijos una vida mejor que ellos tienen y todo eso se repite sin fin y casi no tienen tiempo para pensar. And uh, is that song? song? Blinded by science. If you are blinded by science, even you have more, even less motivation to think about the, the sense of life. Hay esta canción ciega. No estoy segura si está bien traducido. Ciego de ciencia. Bueno, puesto no poder ver o ciencia. Si te pasa eso, entonces estás todavía más eh, menos motivado de, para pensar sobre, sobre el sentido de la vida. Si hay existe Dios, cosmología, cosmology. Of course, this world view of the bo the ball of um, contradicts completely ag against what says the Bible about cosmology. 
por supuesto lo que dice la, eh, esa vista del mundo del modelo de la tierra pelota contradice completamente a la cosmología de la Biblia but now that more and more people get to know about this hashtag let's talk FE flat earth more and more atheists start to believe in the Bible ahora que siempre más gente descubre sobre el hashtag let's talk FE y tierra plana siempre muchos más ateístas empiezan a creer en la Biblia bueno, tal vez, no sé es que yo me siento súper como que en, en inglés hay un ritmo why fall in love when you can fall asleep estoy súper cabreada con relaciones los que quiero ellos me bloquean en Twitter y los que quiero, yo no digo ya no digo nadie mi, mi cumpleaños porque me voy a cabrear a los que espero ellos me olvidan y los que los que estoy cansada ellos están sí, sí. como un, un chicle en el pelo y no te lo quites tienes que cortarte el pelo súper corto para quitar, no, no es suficiente que te cortes el pelo tienes que hacer una, una cosa y luego te matan porque están cabreados contigo así es las relaciones y, y por eso también me gusta esa imagen de gato why fall in love when you can fall asleep peace, paz, sabes la, la, la paz es más importante que el amor bueno, ya seguimos hablando bueno, cuídate vale, adiós Most talking with a neighbor. When I first heard this flat earth subject, I dismissed it without even giving it a second thought. But more recently, at the beginning of 2015, I ran across a few flat earth videos again. And while looking into the fake moon photos circulating around, I saw that people were claiming that the images from earth from space were fake as well. Pretty soon, the flat earth subject became viral online. And after looking at the Apollo missions one night and coming to the conclusion that they were nothing more than a huge con game, it jarred my memory about something. And for a very specific reason, I decided to look deeply into the flat earth without just dismissing it blindly as so many do. Why did I look into it this time? Well, I do pray for knowledge and wisdom and discernment, but maybe the recent Apollo footage I watched helped. However, I live near a very large lake, Lake Ontario, and I happen to remember going to the beach as a kid and looking across the lake and seeing New York State coast off in the distance. I never ever thought anything about it ever, except I remember it being there when I went to the beach. Now, I've been to that beach a hundred times over the years, And once this topic gained more prominence in early 2015, the first video I saw explained the curvature of the Earth and what it's supposed to be in inches per mile. And it resonated with me because I remember that I could see clear across the lake to the other coast, something that broke all the sphere Earth rules. So with NASA fakery on my mind and the memory of seeing this coastline that supposedly was too far below the horizon for me to be able to see it due to the curvature of the Earth, I re-examined the Flat Earth Theory. And as unbelievable as it seemed, it started to make a lot of sense, especially since I did distinctly remember being able to see that far coast basically any time I was at my local beach. And as I've said, I've been there hundreds of times over the years. But even so, I went back to the beach recently and stood at the shore. I looked south and guess what? I could see the New York State coastline just like I remember. Now I googled the distance and it was approximately 36 miles. I learned what the curvature of the Earth is supposed to be exactly at that distance. And according to the people that believe in the sphere, I found out that the coast should have been buried below my ability to see it by almost 900 feet. That part of the New York State coast had a top elevation of less than 300 feet. So that left at least a huge 600 foot discrepancy. And even more because I could see some of the height of the far shore. Was something really wrong with the reality that they've been selling us ever since we were born? Well, I ended up becoming a little fixated on proving or disproving the concept. And at first, I truly thought disproving the flat earth would be rather easy. I thought there had to be a reasonable explanation why I could see so far beyond the so-called curved barrier. I learned about light refraction and superior mirages. I learned about perspective and horizons. I learned about how our eyes work. I viewed dozens of similar experiences on YouTube. 
I listened to experts and people who thought they had logical but spherical explanations. In fact, I tried for a few months to debunk the concept and just couldn't. The more I looked into it, the more sense it made and the less likely that the sphere model we've been spoon-fed since birth was a reality. It's just flat out wrong. And as more people shared their experiences and proofs online, it only added to my growing, pretty much unwavering belief that the world is not what we've been told. And learning about how our eyes work and how perspective work helps a lot with understanding sunrises and sunsets and ships disappearing, hull first at sea, and other supposed sphere Earth proofs. I can't say for certain what shape the Earth is or how big it is, or if there's an Antarctic ring or a barrier beyond it, or if it's an infinite plane. Maybe everything we theorize is not complete. There are so many possibilities that it blows the mind. And the flat Earth has no real complete standard model because it's all based on us finding out things for ourselves. We agree on the facts and certain basics, but the rest is only hypothetical even if it seemingly makes sense. And as the evidence mounts for both the flat Earth and against the sphere, I wanted to create a special place where folks can learn and share what they've learned with other supporters. Differences of opinion are certainly going to come forth and should be expressed openly. But remember that the goal of my videos and their corresponding threads is to provide the opportunity to use each of us to learn and grow in any area that any of us has a problem in. If there is a thing you can't understand, then ask. Someone will have an opinion and we can go from there. If you have a point to make against what is considered an accepted flat earth fact, please provide any relevant links or supporting proofs or videos. I am currently under the impression that the entire space program, even low Earth orbit, and all that is there, is really just a sleight of hand trick by a group of illusionists that have swindled the public, the governments of the world, the media, and us into believing a lie. Everybody, a small group of corporations and cabals have almost complete control over the entire financial, educational, high-level governmental and media systems, leaving it up to real armchair scientists and normal people that can critically think and recreate experiments themselves to independently prove or disprove any accepted line of thought about our reality. Look, I ain't the smartest man on the flat earth, but I ain't no dummy. I'm educated, and I never, ever questioned or ever thought of an alternative to a sphere earth until this year. It never entered my mind to question this part of our reality at all, ever. But now I question everything. I'm a Christian, and I think I see the big picture. Thanks, Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to see more proof against the heliocentric model and proof against the sphere, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if there's anything you disagree with, Make sure you leave a note below explaining exactly why. Remember folks, follow the golden rule. God loves you. We'll talk soon. Esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's uh, rather a game. 
Lo que es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo misma, tienes la llave privada. What is very important to choose um, Bitcoin wallet a company which you only possess the private key for example uh, blockchain.info for example la empresa blockchain.info luego imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo Then to print in paper the private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want in, that, in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y... Uh, this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explica, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First, I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later, explain. Después, lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. Es la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons la gente tiene cuatro dedos. Y Solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, 
I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in The Simpsons, people have a four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunos imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde, puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be a big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So, uh, it's... This is the game part. If uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person. But if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out. And it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada. Y si, por ejemplo... Okay, first translate. Print and not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar un Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. ¿Qué es Bitcoin? Bitcoin es la primera moneda digital descentralizada. Los bitcoins son monedas digitales que puedes enviar a través de Internet. Comparado con otras alternativas, Bitcoin tiene numerosas ventajas. Los bitcoins son transferidos directamente de persona a persona a través de la red sin pasar por un banco u otro intermediario. Esto significa que las comisiones son mucho menores, puedes usarlo en cualquier país, tu cuenta no puede ser congelada y no hay prerequisitos o límites arbitrarios. Miremos cómo funciona. Los bitcoins son generados en todo internet por cualquiera con un programa gratuito llamado Minero de Bitcoin. Crear bitcoins requiere una cierta cantidad de trabajo para cada bloque de monedas. Esta cantidad se ajusta automáticamente por la red, para que los bitcoins siempre sean creados a un ratio predecible y limitado. Tus bitcoins se guardan en tu billetera digital, que te resultará familiar si usas banca digital. Cuando transfieres bitcoins, una firma electrónica es añadida. Pasados unos minutos, la transacción es verificada por el minero y es almacenada permanente y anónimamente por la red. El software de Bitcoin es completamente abierto y cualquiera puede revisar el código. Bitcoin está cambiando las finanzas de la misma manera que la web ha cambiado el periodismo. Cuando cualquiera tiene acceso al mercado global, florecen grandes ideas. Miremos algunos ejemplos de cómo los Bitcoins están usándose hoy en día. Puedes comprar videojuegos, regalos, libros, 
servidores y calcetines de alpaca. Existen varias casas de cambio donde puedes intercambiar tus bitcoins por dólares, euros y más. Los bitcoins son una gran forma para que pequeños negocios y autónomos reciban publicidad. No cuesta nada empezar a aceptarlos, no hay cargos o comisiones y recibirás negocio adicional de la economía Bitcoin. Para tus primeros bitcoins y más información visita weusecoins.com